call it a war of words. Members of Marion County's law enforcement establishment have traded sharp criticism this week over the funding and the role of the sheriff's department. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhart joins us now with the argument and what's at stake, Jack. Well, John, and Marion County Sheriff John Layton sent a strongly worded letter to more than 40 elected and appointed officials throughout Marion County. In it, he accuses his critics of, quote, feeding their egos while playing a dangerous and expensive game of politics. Three hours ago, Metro Police arrested two men who they say have ties to organized street gangs. Police recovered two handguns, drugs, and cash. It's typical of what an underfunded and undermanned Metro Police Department has faced in a year of double-digit increases in serious assaults and violent crime. Marion County Sheriff John Layton says he's grown weary of Republican council members who demean and diminish his role in the war on crime. They're just trying to cause uh, uh, muddy waters which muddy waters will get people killed. Let's get back to the business of taking care of the folks in Marion County and knock this stuff off, this political rhetoric. At Monday night's council meeting, Republicans chided the sheriff for overreaching his authority beyond running the jail, the sex offender registry, and providing building security. Republican Aaron Freeman accused the sheriff of diverting valuable resources away from IMPD. When you go out and start actively looking for roll call sites, when you're on the TV with the prosecutor saying you're going to be out conducting traffic stops and you've got a bicycle patrol over here at the city county building that's engaging in things, you want to patrol the Monon and all kinds of other stated purposes, I as a city councilor have real problems with that. At a time when law enforcement faces shortages of money, manpower and resources, the council's public safety chair believes there's room for both agencies at the table. I think that if Sheriff uh, uh, John Layton can work with Director Troy Riggs, and they can find some efficiencies by perhaps the sheriff assisting with traffic citations or whatever, in whatever way these two agencies can work together. I believe that they should work together. Indianapolis faces the $50 million budget shortfall in 2013, and the war of words between Republicans and Democrats underscores that money and resources for the war on crime are limited. Live in the newsroom, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.